Welcome, the school year has begun. And if you're just starting a math class that you're a little worried if you're gonna struggle or not, well, I have three tips for you. Now, these three tips are ones that actually I found out on my own. When I was a struggling math student, I had to figure out how to get by on my own. And I kind of developed these little tips and I just thought about, well, why don't I make a video on it and share it with all of you? So when I started my school year, I did the same thing. I mentioned this to all of my students because I know there's gonna be students out there that are struggling and I wanted to present to them ways that can help them out. So tip number one is to go and talk with your teacher. When you start struggling in a class, a lot of time your teacher, especially at the beginning of the year, they don't really know when you're struggling and how they can help you out. So if you start seeing that you are struggling or you just want to know how you can do well in your class, talk to your teacher. Let them know that you're struggling. Let them know what you're not understanding and see what they can do to help you out. I know the common you know, myth is that a lot of teachers are out there and they don't care and they don't want to help you out, but I think overall that is false. I think the main thing is if you can communicate to your teacher you know, that you're struggling and you're having a hard time, most teachers are here to help. We want to help you learn and we want you to be successful. So go and speak with your teacher. Uh, I did this to one of my teachers. I remember, well, it was actually the first time I actually started doing this. I was struggling in a class and I was like, I went up to the teacher and said, you know, please help me. How can I do, how can I basically be successful in this class? And it was amazing. The teacher, you know, it was just changed his whole persona really kind of changed and he gave me multiple, multiple steps to help me be successful that I was able to use throughout the whole year and really did well in his class. And I kind of used that for future classes so the teachers knew that I was really working hard and I really wanted to be successful in their class. So definitely when you start to struggle or even before you start to struggle, talk to your teacher. Make sure they know if you're struggling, how you're struggling and where, where they can help you out. Number two tip is to find some people to work with. I'm not talking about the person that sits next to you that you swap phone numbers with, that you can text and get the homework if you miss it or the notes. I'm talking about people that you can work with. And when I got into my upper level math classes, this was probably how I got by. We didn't have math YouTube tutorials to watch. But again, I don't even think still, even in this age, it's still important to have some people that you can rely on as well as kind of work with as you're going through your homework as well as studying for a test. And the important thing about this is not just learning from somebody else, but when you're doing your homework with somebody else or you're studying from a, with a test from some, with somebody else, you guys, you guys take in the information differently. So it's really helpful that um, you can talk, talk through the different types of problems and you might be able to understand it in, a, in the way that they understood it and that actually might be the way that it helps it click. So don't go about math class by yourself work with somebody, work with either, get either like a study group or get a study friend, somebody that you can rely on that as you go through the course, you guys can work together to be successful. And the last step, number three, is to practice, practice, practice. There's no way of getting around practice. It's the same thing. You can always work harder, you know, somebody can always be better at math, but as long as you're willing to keep on working harder at it, you can overcome a lot of your struggles. Now, I understand if you don't understand math, just doing practice is not going to help, right? Yes, you have to have some basic fundamentals to be able to make sure that practice is you know, improving your skills. But when you start learning a skill, I think this is one of the biggest misconceptions students will do is they'll learn a skill, understand it, and then you know, put it away. Okay, move on to the next chapter and kind of totally forget about it. While some teachers and some courses are gonna go back and spiral review through that material, and yes, sometimes, you know, a couple months later, we'll go back and look at the material. I think the main important thing is for a lot of students that struggle, they just don't have enough practice. They might understand the concept, but they didn't get enough practice with that. Now, nowadays, there is a ton of resources out there for you to be able to get active practice problems. I used to go in the back of the book, go to like the chapter tasks that they'd have in the book, and I would just practice examples. Practice, practice, practice. Even though I understood the concept, I would try to look for examples that were a little bit different than what we did in class, or maybe were a little bit more confusing, and I would work through them. And I can't tell you how much that really helped me truly understand the material, especially by the time I got to a test, I feel like I had done every single type of problem that the professor or the teacher could give to me, and I felt much more confident. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. In my classroom, I give my students those three tips, and those are three tips that I wanna to recommend to you. I really hope that you have a successful year in math. So I'm always here to help you making more videos to help you learn math. Thanks.